I, okay, this is a little bit close, so we're going to move that back a little bit. Um, so today I'm doing my Nails Ink nail polish collection. As you, can, as you can see, I have a lot of these as well. Um, I don't, I don't know how I feel about Nails Ink. I feel like they're a little bit expensive. These four are all of their, like, special effects polishes, and so they retail for $11. Um, I paid nowhere near that for any of these. I think I got this one on clearance for about... I don't remember. It was about two or three dollars, and all of these I found at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I think for about two dollars. I think for a while these were a dollar ninety nine at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So when so I picked up these three, I picked this up um, a little bit more recent. I think it was marked for about four fifty, but you know how Ulta always has the wrong price tags on it. Well, they're not updated. So even though it said it was supposed to be four dollars, I think it said it was supposed to be four fifty on clearance. Um, it was only about a dollar ninety seven when it rang up. These two I did get recently, and these were um, $4.74 on clearance, and I guess they were recently put on clearance because they still were $4.74. So I paid nowhere near, I mean I paid like half price for these and then less than half for those, which is what I'm comfortable with because um, I honestly don't think that they're worth that much. Um, of these three, these are all 3D glitters, so they're supposed to be textured, and I have tried this one. This one is called Cannot Square. And I wore this for New Year's at the beginning of this year, New Year's this year, and it's not focusing, whatever. But this took four coats to be opaque, and even though it's really, really pretty, it was super sheer. It didn't dry that fast, which was weird because it's supposed to be, you know, a textured polish, and usually textured glitters dry really, really quickly. I mean, you can see, like, how sheer it is because it's clear at the top of the bottle. Um... But usually textured glitters dry really quickly, and they're usually really opaque as well. I mean, if you think of the Liquid Sands from OPI or the Pixie Dust from Zoya, this just could not compare to that. So I was kind of disappointed in that. Um, also, these have kind of a strong scent, so that's something else. They don't give me a headache like Clean Color do, but that's just something I think that's worth mentioning. So, um, yeah... I'm not a huge fan, but if I find these on sale, and if I like the color, then I will pick it up, but... I honestly don't think that they're worth the price, but again, you know, that's a personal kind of thing. You know, that's a personal decision. If you really like nail zinc and feel comfortable paying that, then, you know, go for it. But if you're trying to, you know, try nail zinc, I would definitely recommend going to places like Ulta or Marshall's or TJ Maxx, finding them for cl on clearance, and then buying them then. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get into them now. So this first color is called Sloan Square. Please focus. Oh, on my nails right now, I have on China Glaze's Troublemaker and Can I Get an Ns Ns? There we go. And I do have a nail a day for that. So this is the first one, Sloan Square. It's really, really pretty. This next one, I've already showed you. This is Cannot Square. I do have a blog post and a picture on Pinterest with this. I wish the formula was better. Then my last 3D glitter I have is Hammersmith which is really, really pretty. So there's that. Then I have one of the feathers ones. I really love the top. I think that's really cute. And this is called Chester. So just little bar glitters. I haven't tried it yet. Then I have two of these creams. This first one is called Breton Muse. Just a really nice dark green. Nothing special. And then the last one is also nothing special. This is Kensington High Street. And it's just a really nice berry. So those are the only colors I have. Those are my thoughts on Nails Ink. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!